What's going on guys, King Trash here, back in another video on the channel, and today we have done another one of the highest rated series. I'm back here somewhere, by the way, I know, surrounded by food. We went to the highest rated Mexican restaurant in my area. It is known as Viva Margarita. It is in Wallington, New Jersey, and it has a five star rating out of 67 ratings, which isn't really high, but still, it's the highest rated, so that's what we do, we move. If you're digging the content, you like the highest rated series, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that cringy YouTube stuff, okay, I got it out of the way. Now let's get into this. First of all, I do want to preface this, and I'm going to try not to talk too much in the intro. I can't help it. I know some native Mexicans will be like, this is not real Mexican food, and I completely understand where you are coming from. I'm not saying this in any disrespectful way or anything like that whatsoever. I just want to say that this food was made in a restaurant by Mexican people, a Mexican family-owned restaurant. Any time that a food becomes popular in the United States, we're a country of people from other countries for the most part. When it gets popular, Italian food has done it, Mexican food has done it, uh, even Greek food has done it off the top of my head, Indian food as well. Sometimes they do make adjustments because it is a bit Americanized. So you might not find the same exact food when you go to these native countries. With that being said, anyway, let's get into the video. I kind of wanted to give that as a disclaimer because sometimes people say this isn't real food, but I understand where you're coming from. But this was the highest rated Mexican restaurant area. I got a lot of stuff here. I love Mexican food and the stuff looks and smells really, really good. And you know what I want to start with? People probably like, why? But I love corn, and this is Mexican street corn. Do you know what a Mexican street corn is? Usually it comes with um, cheese and a mayonnaise kind of blend, and it's usually done on a grill, so you can see the char marks on there. Let me just grab one of these bad boys. Now, also, it's hard for food sometimes to travel well, but given the situation we're in, I had to take it from the restaurant to my house, and sometimes it doesn't really travel the same way. So some of the stuff might not look as good as if they were serving it uh, on their restaurant plate. All disclaimers, you know, I gotta be unbiased with my opinion, but I'll try the food. That char on that corn is unbelievable, and the sweetness on this thing, woo. And you get the saltiness from that cheese, a little bit of the tang and heat from the spices as well as the sweet from a little bit of that like mayo base. I say this all the time. I haven't actually been to Mexico, and I always wanted to go. If I go to Mexico, I'm gonna gain 407 pounds because I will just walk around finding different taco stands and corn. I could eat like 50 of these, no joke. The sweetness with that char. Oh, goodness. Oh. Okay. That was really good. <laughs> I'm going to take one more bite. I have to. I like the little end piece when I get that. Look at that bite. Look at this char, man. Look at that. Oh, goodness. That's crazy. That corn is, is absolutely insane. Between the saltiness from that cheese, the sweetness, that clarified butter, you get a little bit of lime, and it's tangy. It's like a red chili, a little bit of spice to it. I'm like, I don't care, I'm eating it. I, look, I know I'm supposed to get everything, but I don't care. This is like paradise. I love corn. One of the reasons I went to school in Iowa. Alright, now that we just 
watched a, an OnlyFans video of me eating corn. And I move on to the next thing. That was really good. Wow, 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 wee wow. Where should I go? Of course we can go to the tacos. I'm going to go to the tacos. We got Al Pastor tacos. You don't know what Al Pastor is. Let me give you a little history lesson. Um, Al Pastor actually means shepherd style. Pastor is a shepherd, so Al Pastor basically from a shepherd. Where it came from, it's very similar to shawarma or like Euro meat, um, like donor kebabs if you're from the UK. Uh, Lebanese immigrants came to Mexico and they introduced this style of cooking. Um, and obviously, once it got here, almost like a fusion, that's where you got Al Pastor from. So it's usually served uh, with pineapple. And I'm a huge fan, again, I didn't stray from a lot of my regular favorites. Always when you get the tortillas, you have to make sure that you get the double joint. And you gotta get a little bit of the lime. You gotta squeeze a little, I can't even. There we go, come on lime. All right, it's going down, coming in hot. Al Pastor, what are we saying? Okay, the Al Pastor itself, really good, super tender. I know you show your food all the time. I love it with the sweetness from that pineapple you get. That is a tasty taco. Mmm, let me do one more. Put a little lime right here. Now, I've had a few different Mexican restaurants in the area. Oh, by the way, I, I dropped the taco when I was plating this. There's only one on this one. It wasn't them, it was me. I will take the L on that. Now, the thing I noticed between this place and the rest of them is I think they kind of stayed true to their portion sizes because they're a little smaller than other places. But it does make up in taste. I wish you guys could come try this with me. That's really, really, mm. Done right. Done right. I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care who sees me. It is what it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here. Okay. Cilantro. Onion. Nice pliable taco. Okay. Stop eating everything. I can't help it. Now give me a second. That was a heck of a, this whole side is just, you feel me? Mmm. I guess, mm -mm. Let's move on to the chimichanga. Now, chimichanga is a deep fried burrito. I'm sure most people are familiar with the mission style burritos we eat in this country. Um, when you're getting like a Mexican burrito, it's usually wet, uh, meaning it's covered. This one's covered in a, um, a, um, I forgot what kind of sauce it was. I think it's guajillo chilies. I'm not 100% I'm not sure I'll know when I try it. Uh, inside is carnitas. If you don't know what carnitas is, it's pulled pork. Um, the main difference between pulled pork and carnitas is that they're cooked almost the same. It's a pork shoulder, but you finish carnitas on the stove top and you kind of brown it a little bit. Whereas pulled pork, you just pull it off the bone and you start seasoning it up. Really the only difference between the two. I don't think I bought a fork. Jimmy Changa time. I don't eat burritos with my hands. These you're supposed to. I should say I don't eat with a fork. These you're supposed to. I don't even, you know what? <laughs> YOLO, man. This is what it is. Deep fried. <laughs> Jimmy Chan got me to with my hands. You're not supposed to do this. Don't do this. Oh my God. Don't eat Jimmy Chongas with your hands because they're messy. This is like the texture. The carnitas and so. You guys are crazy when I say this. The fried corn tortilla. The 
This is like a dope Mexican egg roll, almost like a giant version. Let me see if I can pull out a piece. It's really tender. It falls apart in my hand, so I can't even really get it. Let's see if I can get you a snapshot. Look in there. This is supposed to be covered. I asked for it on the side, then I just poured it on top, so it's not soggy. <laughs> Anybody can eat chimichanga by hand. Let me tell you what. If we put that carnitas inside of almost anything, I'd probably eat it unless it wasn't a pickle. You can see, I just ate a whole burrito with my hand. I didn't want to put it down. Super flavorful meat. Super flavorful. I wipe my hands off, of course. Meat just falls apart. Good crunch. Still good taste of that tortilla. You're not going to get like what you get here when you get like rice and you know, salsa and stuff like that inside of those kind of burritos. It's usually just meat. Sometimes they'll add, uh, I've seen beans in there, but usually that's on the outside. So that's what you see here, uh, Mexican rice and beans. I mean, I'll give it a try. Most meals that you get from Mexican restaurants will serve it with Mexican rice and beans. So let's give it a shot. Also got some salsa here. Um, they told me that this one was really spicy right here. So I'm just going to like do that. Get a little on there, a little rice and beans action. Okay, rice super flavorful, beans good. That salsa is actually really hot, but it's good. I like the rice a lot. I love when you can taste the homemade in food. When you can taste like, oh, okay, somebody definitely made this by hand. You know, as opposed to going to like more of the franchise places where it seems like they pulled it out of a bag. This looks like they bought some stuff and cooked it like they was in their kitchen. And I can definitely vibe with that. That's why I love small kitchens. That chimichanga, I should order like nine of them. Excuse me again, I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Okay. I'm halfway through. And upon first visit, like when I looked, I was like, is this place really going to be five stars? Then I started eating it. I can see why now. So I stand corrected. That's why I always have to try things first. Now this one right here is a camarón alambre. Camarón means shrimp, exact same name. But alambre, so I'll tell you what alambres are as you look at the wonderful picture of what it is. It's a dish, it has grilled beef usually. Mine has um, grilled beef. <laughs> it has bacon, bell peppers, onions, cheese, salsa. Um, sometimes I see new with agua, I was gonna say aguacate, agu avocados, same thing. I don't like avocado, so I'm glad it didn't. You can see the limes on there. And it's served over a blue corn tortilla. It's usually served with tortillas. Um, when I've eaten alambres before, and I'm not gonna like, I usually try to get this with my hands. I usually will grab a piece of the tortilla and just start picking up and then eating it as I go. Um, I don't know if that's the right or wrong way to eat it, to be honest, but that's always how I've eaten it when I've had it before. But let me get some of the lime on here. The shrimp looks really good. Looks like it's got Oaxaca cheese on it. Let me get this up out of the way. And then some Mexican rice on the side. Okay. You move. But I'm just going to kind of, because I can't get to the side. Because it's served in it's a go dip. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Now, let's just do it this way. All right. There we go. What are we saying? Oh, I'm drooling. Oh, look at that cilantro. Tell you something. Let me get a little of this tortilla in here too. The blue corn tortilla. Well seasoned shrimp. Good seasoning on here. The grilled veggies, great taste to them. They're the saltiness from the cheese. And what I always loved about alambres is the bacon. See if I can grab you a piece. They're small, but they're in there. 
So you get that saltiness and like that pork. Goodness, goodness me. Um, I never really noticed a difference in the taste from a blue corn tortilla. I, did, I can tell these tortillas were made at home. I actually saw them making them, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, let, me get, let me try a little bit of this. Don't even know what it is. I'm gonna try it anyway. Am I telling what it is? I obviously can see the chiles in there. That is really flavorful. And you get that lime. Lime just for me, it just sets the dish off, man. Oh, man. Mmm. 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 Did I say mmm yet? Bro, I can only imagine, because this is so good, how much better it even is if you get to eat it in the restaurant. We got to get back to those days, man. <laughs> we do. Oh, man. Really good. Jumbo shrimp. That's what you like to see. Now I love these roasted peppers. See, now I can start going in. And that's how I usually do it, right? You grab a piece of the tortilla. Again, I don't know if this is the right way, <laughs> but that's how I always did it. And I just, I swear to goodness. The flavors are just on point. It's on point. Wow. Is that first glance, I'm telling you, this made me a believer. W. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I am a seltzer water person. Schweppes, always the goat. Lemon lime. My favorite seltzer brands, Schweppes, Canada Dry, Polar. But I'll drink them all. I'll drink the poverty version too. But. If they're on sale, because usually these are running like $5 a case, and I'm not trying to do that, because the poverty version will run you like $2. Okay, one of my favorite dishes, I get this everywhere I go, pozole, it's like a corn soup. <sighs> I'm just looking at it, y'all can see me stirring it in the overlay, but I'm stirring it over here too. Look how thicky that is right there. Look at that chunk of chicken sitting on the top. Yes, I just took my alambre and put it in here because this is going to just, I need that. Give me, give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. Don't fall either. I love pozole. That is good pozole. That's good pozole. That's all I have to say about it. It just makes you, makes you... I love those pieces of, of hominy. You can see how they puff up. They just soak up all that juice, the broth. Mix it with the rice. I just want to lay in this. This one, <laughs> it's just good, man. It is. Hmm. Hmm. Did I say mm yet? I have to come back for you. Al Pastor Taco. I don't know why I'm propping up an empty container, but Al Pastor is just one of my favorites. Mmm. Not the solo though. Let me get one more piece. Let me get some dessert. Mmm. 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 Okay. Let's try some dessert too. Come over here. 
We got churros. Now, these are not the churros that you get like from the like the little. These are homemade. You never had a churro before. Cinnamon sugar. Oh, and these got from what it looked like. I, I didn't really get a good glance, but can you see inside here? What that smells like is dulce de leche, aka caramel. Not entirely the same, which is also on the top. They had a little whipped cream on there. They're strawberries, but I don't eat strush. That is really good. Cinnamon sugar, I was actually saying this in yesterday's Sonic video. Anytime that I got a pretzel, I didn't like regular pretzels, I always got cinnamon sugar. One of my favorite combinations is that sweet. Now you're combining that with this crispy, wonderful churro. And then inside, it's creamy. I remember I used to serve churros in lunch, school lunch, and they were just like, <laughs> this is that that Full disclosure I had my eyes set they had coconut tres leches cake, right? But they said I didn't have any So like we have churros and I was like mmm and and you know the last second I was like not give me a churro Boy am I glad I missed, didn't miss out on that W I would have just came in for the dessert. Mmm. Mmm. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing. Okay. Last but not least. Flan. Flan is a jiggly, really sweet dessert. Like a, like a custard. And every person I know who's ever had flan has either loved it or absolutely hated it. And I'm including in this a conversation with 90% of my Hispanic friends that I know and grew up with. Most of them did not like flan. Now me, on the other hand, jiggly custard. I like when it jiggles. It's, I don't know how people don't like flan. It's like... Like like caramel custard. It's so good. I used to go to my Hispanic friends' houses growing up, right? And they would have flan. The mom be in the kitchen. You know, they like me and they, Davey, that was my name. Yes, it was Davey. Not not Dave or King. But just Davey, I made flan. And I'm in here. That's how yeah, that's really what's her voice. And your boy. Man, my, my my friends would be like, man, I don't want to. No, flan. But I go in there and make friends. I'll be in there. Some flan. Maybe some Sancocho. I'm getting off topic. It's just, it's, it's just when you get good flan. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm like, like swishing it around in my mouth. That's, bruh. This taking me back. All that's missing is my friend saying something stupid to his mom and her throwing a chunk clock across the room. Hold on. I'm gonna try something here. Just to see. Have you ever churroed your flan? Hey. What are we saying? Stop playing with me, bro. Nah. Nah. The chimichanga came with sour cream. I ain't even need it. I have to admit. In synopsis. Yes, I just said in synopsis like I'm doing an actual thesis or something. I didn't expect. Before trying this stuff. When I was looking at it. It to be. I thought this was going to be the first time. And I was like, okay, I can't see why people five star this place. I stand corrected. It's good. I put it right there. 
there are other five star places in the area which I have had, but I wanted to try something new. I've done other Mexican mukbangs which are five star rated too. <laughs> They're right there with them. And they do stuff a little different, which I like. Apples to oranges, so don't ask me which one's better than the other one because they have little things that make them great. Wow, very good, worth it. I'm glad I did this. Mexican food. I want to keep eating, but I should probably stop considering I had like 8,000 calories yesterday. So anyway, it's been your boy King Strats. <laughs> Viva Margarita. Very good. If you're in the area, give them a try. Try some Mexican food if you're not. Try the mom and pop businesses like I always say. Support these local businesses in these times, man. We need y'all help. Anyway, it's been your boy King Strats. We'll be back tomorrow. Back in the kitchen. More content. I love you. The hand signs have made it to YouTube.